Hi, I'm Maggie Cruz. And I'm John Duckett. And it's the end of January here in wine country. And while most visitors come in spring, summer, or fall, we've had a great winter. We're supposed to be looking at some 70 degree weather in the next couple of weeks, and it hasn't been rainy too much. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to come out to auto camp in Guerneville um, on the Russian River and have some great Cabernet. Yeah, it's full of campers right now, January. No snow, no rain, it's beautiful. So yeah. good time of year to it. visit, no lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's all good. Since it's 2018, we thought it would be fun to open a 10-year-old Cabernet today, and we are enjoying the Jordan 2008. It's hard to believe this wine is 10 years old already. Pretty crazy. Yeah. This was uh, a year before I came to the winery, so mm -hmm. I actually didn't have my hands in this one. Uh, but in terms of the year, I remember we took a uh, field trip out from Davis, and this was a, a difficult year when mm -hmm. it came with weather. Uh, there were two big frosts in the spring. And we went out to Vineyards and saw that, and um, yeah, and then some fires in the end, towards the end of the year, some lightning fires. So there was kind of a little bit of everything this year. So we had to be really choosy with the different blocks and how to treat everything, and just really being meticulous with everything, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. 2008 was my third vintage at Jordan, and something that really struck me was how particular and meticulous we were about choosing lots that year. Um, we didn't have a lot of fruit because we got lost quite a bit to the frost. Sure. Um, what we had was good, but we also had the fires up in Mendocino, which um, were earlier in the season for fire season um, and during rapid cell division in June, mm -hmm. July. So well, there were fires in Mendocino and there were a little bit of impact in our area. So we just really declassified and got rid of all the wine that had any impact from the, the fires in Mendocino. So yeah. it was already a small vintage that we chose to make even smaller just to make a high quality wine. And I think it's paying off really in the aging process. With Absolutely. And for smoke taint, I mean, if you've ever tried a wine that's smoke tainted, um, I mean, it really can come across as a campfire or mm -hmm. burnt plastic. I mean, it's, it's kind of that even. unpleasant. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. not in a good way. Not really a good spot for wine. So I mean, the the choosing really shows, and um, you know, it's important to be able to pick that stuff out and uh, you know make the wine that is shown here, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's tasting really I mean, nice right now. Just right off the bat, you get a lot, like you said, a lot of that concentrated dark fruit, blackberry cassis. Yeah, just, just a really nice concentration. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of black cherry. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. Tannins are really silky. It's a really smooth wine. I like the dark dark cherry even on the palate. Mm -hmm. If I were tasting this blind, I would not believe that this was 10 years old. It's tasting really young. It's funny, when the 2008 came out, it was a little bit more subdued, a little bit more mellow, and lighter in style. And it's as it's aged, it's gotten a little bit bigger and livelier. It's pretty yeah, interesting. The tannins are a little bit more. Yeah, for it to become almost robust. more of a structured wine as it ages mm -hmm. is, is, yeah, you'd think counterintuitive, but it, it's totally true. I think this could go another easy five, seven years. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, closer to 10, I mean, this is, Tasting really nice. Food wise, this will be like your pretty stereotypical cab. So this would be a good steak wine. Um, it's got a lot of sh strong tannins, but like I said, they're, they're silky though. I mean, it's really well integrated. The oak's really nice. Um, it's drinking well now, but also, I mean, five, seven years down the road, it's gonna be a really nice wine. The black cherry on the palate almost lends itself to duck, in my opinion. Like, a, you know, yeah, a nice roast that duck. that would be really, really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything that you're cooking on the grill, um, yeah, this is a good wine out at, out at a campsite. Yeah, sure. Well, thanks for joining us for our first video of 2018. This 2008 cab was fun to taste again after 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, any other wines you guys want us to try, leave them in the comments. We're glad to taste them. And uh, as always, this is always fun for us. So uh, keep it coming, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.